welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video and a bit of a different one today because i've decided to do a bit of kind of like a weekly vlog i used to do these all the time but just with the house renovations and everything that's been going on i've been doing far more kind of sit down videos in between renovation vlogs but we have a few things planned predominantly dog friendly related things so yeah I thought it might be interesting for at least those of you that are dog lovers there he is sat in the back Barney hello we are off this morning bright and early to a dog it's like a secure dog field with a bit of agility in just to allow him to have a good run around it'll be his first off lead run around since his operation so we thought do you know what let's hire a field let's see how he's like off lead let's see how his recall is again because it's been probably three or four weeks since he's actually been let off lead now i'm thinking that when he sees other dogs he's gonna bolt <laughs> so i'm a bit apprehensive about that yeah so i thought well, we'll just see how he is today do a bit of fun agility things also in prep for another event that we have coming up which will also be within this vlog called dog fest at tatton park which is local to us so we're gonna take barney along on the saturday i've got a friend who's got a stall there so we're gonna do some instagram stuff for her he's gonna get kitted up with some new gear and there's loads of like fun events like swimming pool jumps agility i think claire bolding's there the day that we're there and a couple of like instagram dogs dog instagrammers so yeah it's gonna be fun it's quite a big event i think so we're actually going for a night over beforehand in Alderley edge to a dog friendly hotel that's a whole other thing that i'm working with benson's for beds on so yeah i thought i would vlog it all i also have an event in manchester with a spa which is a bit more glam so from a dog field to heels and a dress and yeah so i thought it'd be a fun week to vlog so if you're not ready, make sure you're set, comfy, relaxed, feet up, drink in hand, and um, enjoy the rest of the video. Try anything Should we just get our breakfast here? Oh, salted caramel latte. That's new. That's more like it, isn't it? Will you come my hash brown as well? Oh, yes, please. Okay, that's it, you have please. Yeah, can uh, we order one breakfast roll meal, please, with a oh, ketchup, bread sauce. Uh, poor. ketchup, please. Can we have it with um, a black uh, coffee? Yep. And then cheesy flatbread. A cheesy flat, cheesy bacon flatbread. Can we get a bottle of water as well, please, Bob? McDonald's app, because I'm a regular. See if there's any deals. Say again. Sorry. What did you say, mate? Yeah. Thank you. Next window. I've never been to McDonald's before. There's a place called West Horton. I don't think there's loads of places um, to go for a nice breakfast afterwards. Do you have a quick look online? Um, and there are some places, but I don't know if they're dog friendly or not. So, and we might be muddy from a field. We were going to stop and get a coffee anyway, and I thought, you know what? Let's just get some breakfast whilst we're here. It's lighting though. Look at the golden hour. Whew. Oh yeah. Check that out. What? It's looking good, aren't it? You get no, two I mean. golden hours or one golden hour? I'd say one, but maybe. Like usually evening, isn't it? Yeah. Golden hour. That's what I'm saying. You're all dressed up, ready for a dinner out on holiday. And the sun's going down, is that yeah, right? Nice and bronzed skin from being lying out in the sun all day. You missing that? Yeah, I'm going next week. See ya. Where are you going? Yeah. I'm going to book somewhere. Okay, we're going to London. After London. Next week. Oh, that's it. <sighs> I just want to get this house done. Should put these in there. In there. Boot it! Yeah, Dad? What do you want? Barney. That's Ready? right, that's my name, isn't it? Look at them ears. This is where we are, West Totten Dog Park. We're nearly there, Barney. You're like, let me out. Come on. 
come on then. He's out. <laughs> right, let's put in the code. Go play. And they've got water bowls here. He loves it. We need to get him on the agility course. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. really good fun. We managed to get Vani to do a few of the agility things but I think he was more bothered about just sniffing around and smelling other dogs scents. And now time to head back home. We've got a big clean up job on our hands today. So I was looking at you there. Hi there, can I try one of the churro frappuccinos, please? Oh, what, sorry? The churro frappuccino. Medium or large? Um, just the smallest one you've got, please. So, I didn't actually vlog yesterday, but I did end up having a pretty productive day, actually. We, I got a bit of cleaning done. I went and got my car valeted. A body got groomed, so had a big clean up and a bit of a tidy up and organise. Um, and today I have come to the Trafford Centre starting with a first stop Starbucks. I want to try the new churro blend frappuccino that they do. It's a TikTok craze that's happened and it's now on their menu on the app. So it's a legit drink. You can ask for it. I'm going to try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Lovely. Thank you very much. It certainly smells good. It's full of cinnamon, I think. So if you like the kind of cinnamony sense the only thing is i don't know if there's coffee in it that looks pretty creamy to me it <laughs> looks more like a dessert i'm really trying to think of churros when i drink this think if it actually tastes like a churro it's super sweet <laughs> probably a bit too sweet for this time in the morning and cinnamony. So I guess churros are covered in cinnamon sugar. So it's kind of like that. It's probably a bit too sweet, sweet for me. I don't know if I'll get it again. So I've come to the traffic centre just for a couple of things. White Company, I got through the autumn brochure and there was a little 15% off card. So I wanted to maybe pop in there. I also need to get a friend a 30th a birthday present because I'm going over to hers tonight with a couple of other friends. And then I also am on the hunt for a chandelier for our master bedroom, which the electrician is coming tonight. I don't think he's fitting anything tonight. I think he's just having a look at exactly what we need to order in terms of sockets and switches. We already have some on order, but we just need to make sure we've ordered the right ones. It's really hard to tell just from wires sticking out the wall whether or not it's like a double switch, single switch, what kind of sockets we're going to go for in terms of are we going to go for USB-C and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought I would head out. There's one in Next that I've seen online, but I just want to check it out in store first to make sure I'm happy with it. In fact, should have gone over to the other side because there's a huge next home over there. M&S as well have been doing amazing kind of homeware bits at the minute in terms of Christmassy stuff. So I might pop in there. Sipping on my TikTok regret purchase. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just very sweet. Incredibly sweet. Anyway, let's go. Looking up. 
up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of rain oh, We can spend all day in bed I get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you Here with a different drink in hand this time so pretty successful trip I've got myself one of these boost juices I go for the ginger tonic which is so nice if you like green juices and things it's literally just kale apple grapes cucumber ginger I always wish they put more ginger in though it's really subtle you can barely taste the ginger and it's all about balance because I also picked up a five guys I did just go for one of the like the kids little cheeseburgers they're called but it's still pretty big so I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm actually gonna drive over to the Barton Square arcade but I could have walked through but I just thought if I do end up finding a chandelier it's gonna be pretty um awkward carrying that so yeah I'm gonna drive over there and I also want to go to the white company in city center because the one here they had a couple of bits I really want the big fireside candle and the fireside fragrance oil but they didn't have either of those so they did have a couple of bits but nothing that I wanted All right let's go I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm Mr. Barney Boo is happy to see me. We've had a good run around in the garden. So hopefully he'll chill out whilst I'll share, share with you the few bits that I did pick up. I'll share with you the biggest thing first of all just because I can then get it out of the way. And it's also kind of hard to hold. So I did find a chandelier light fixture fitting for our bedroom. So I decided to go with this. It's very kind of cool a bit different it's irregular shaped which i'm loving those like irregular shaped mirrors at the minute the black metal framed ones as well so maybe if we have one in our bedroom that could kind of fit with this kind of theme so this is called the jeweler light fitting from dunelm it's only 45 pounds some of the other chandeliers and things that i've been looking at have been a lot more than that so that's great news and then i also got the bulbs to go with it i decided to go with clear ones just like they've got on the image these were 14 pounds for the three i did also come home to a parcel so i'll share with in fact i'll show you that first a lovely girl called kate reached out to me on instagram and wanted to send me a couple of her handmade pumpkins that she creates and she actually sent two i only thought one was coming so it's so kind of her to to send both and you can pick your colorway i got this kind of beautiful sage green toned pumpkin and this natural, more of a stone coloured pumpkin. And I just think they're so pretty. She's so creative and I had to share that with you. So thank you to Kate. I also popped into Hotel Chocolat for a gift for my friend tonight. Just, I've got her a couple of bits, but I just thought I would get these happy birthday box of chocolates. I also went to Nespresso. Now I tend to opt for the decaf capsules. I do sometimes play around with some others, but we only really have decaf left. So I decided to pick up some more, but I went with a bit of a theme, a bit of a color theme to maybe pop these out on display at all autumnal tones, kind of Halloween themed pumpkin colors. 
Um, so yeah, I just love the neutral tones to these ones and also a couple of them I've never tried before. This one, this brown one is the Coco Truffle. This is the Caramel Creme Brulee. And then these two, I don't believe I've ever tried before. They're, this one's part of the World Explorations Vienna Lungo. And this one is Italian Genova Levanto. So I've been to Nespresso, Hotel Chocolat, Zara, TK Maxx. I also popped into Abercrombie & Fitch, which is right next to Zara. I don't tend to go in there all too often, but they honestly have some lovely things in. I got a bit of vlog footage in there as well, because they had some really nice jackets, some plaid check shirt type things. And they were doing an offer whereby if you... Uh, signed up to the I think it's the mailing list then you could get 10 pounds off your order So I was like brilliant. So I picked up this this one was actually in the sale as well. This was from 55 pounds down to 34.29 and they had it in gray as well i'm kind of regretting not getting the gray as well i was tempted thought do i get both no i'll just stick with one and i went for the white option but i just think it's going to be one of those kind of sweatshirts that i end up living in throughout autumn and winter so it's got like a zippable color detail and it's the softest fabric that i think that's one of the things that i absolutely love about abercrombie is their materials that they use super super soft and also they smell amazing i mean this bag just smells of abercrombie and fitch i love it then i got this t-shirt from the men's where it's the part of the soft essentials relaxed range i got this in an extra large 18 pounds one of my all time favorite t-shirts that I wear is from Zara Men's and it's 19.99. So I thought 18 pounds, similar kind of price point. I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna invest in another really good quality men's t-shirt because when I wear it, it's just so much more nicer than like my Primark t-shirts. Just a plain basic crew neck tea and it's kind of like a charcoal color i'm going to london next week with tom and we're going to meet my family down there because um it's my dad's 60th it's my brother's birthday as well so we're spending a couple of nights there and one night in particular like their actual birthday night we're probably going to get a bit dressed up go out for a really nice dinner so we decided to pick up an outfit from zara i went into i tried on a beautiful foresty green colored dress like a satiny slip dress which i loved but i tried it on in a small and i just wanted to try the medium they didn't have any mediums in store but anyway i didn't opt for that i opted for this outfit instead and it's much more versatile in that i can wear them as separates it's a like suit so yeah i could dress it up dress it down so these are the pants they're in like a sage green kind of color so yeah just a nice tailored pair of trousers that are a bit more of a relaxed fit i got these in a medium and they were only 29.99 which i thought again was very reasonably priced i did opt for the matching blazer to go with it this was quite a lot more pricey in terms of 79.99 now all of my blazers that I own are Zara, basically. They are the, the ones that I find longer lasting, the durability, the ones that I've invested in myself are the Zara ones at about 60 to 80 pounds. So this is on the steeper side of that and it is a really nice fabric, a medium. I got this blazer in, nice and relaxed fit. Like I said, I could dress it up, dress it down. I could wear those trousers with, in fact, I might even do this as one outfit wear it with like a basic white tee and my Veja trainers. And then equally I could wear this blazer with a lovely white dress underneath. It's a good color for spring, it's a good color for autumn. So yeah, anyway, I'm justifying my purchase. I just decided to invest. And then I also got this to go underneath it just to dress it up slightly. So I opted for this bodysuit. Again, this was a little pricey, $25.99, but it is a gorgeous satin silky kind of fabric in this beautiful champagne gold that's what i picked up from zara i was very tempted they had this yale cream jumper in at 45.99 or 49.99 very tempted to get it then i went into tk maxx and i spotted this one which does feel lovely and it's a very similar cream jumper with the kind of navy yale that arabic scripture on i just liked that detail this is in an extra large and it was only 19.99 they had all sorts they had harvard they had different colors i actually might wear as like my travel outfit down to london i might wear that with some leggings so that's 
all the clothing that I got. I did just pick up a couple more bits from TK Maxx whilst I was in there. This book, for one, I thought was quite cool. I think it would look lovely next to kind of a coffee station, coffee machine. It's got loads of information about different places to try coffee. And it was only 5 99 RRP of this is $16.95, so it's a pretty good bargain. And then I also picked up this, which I thought could go in Tom's bathroom, which we have now completed, which is such a relief. So we have a shower now, which is honestly just the best thing ever. We have gone for a bit of a forest green theme in there, or a dark kind of olive green uh, tone, which this has a little bit on the label, and it also has this kind of brown paper i mean it's only bayless and harding but i thought it looked pretty smart it's from the fuzzy duck range in hemp and bergamot it's bath and shower gel only 4.99 and then sticking with that theme that color theme i also opted for this candle which i thought could go up there i love the packaging and the branding of this it's so nice they have so many different scents however this one was not only the best color fit with it being that kind of dark forest green it's also the best scent in my opinion so it's in woodland spice and pine and if you know me, anything pine scented, anything that gives me that feel of I'm walking through the woods in autumn and winter, is a thumbs up from me. But this was $7.99, so that's gonna go straight in his room once we style it up. And that's everything that I picked up. So this ended up being a bit of a haul within this video, but I think I will next see you when we are heading off for a night away Benson's for beds, and then also going to the dog fest, which I'm so excited for. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it's an exciting one because we're going on a little adventure tonight. So I'm doing some Instagram work with Benson's Four Beds as part of their new Wake Up In A Good Place campaign. So we're actually gonna go stay at a hotel tonight, Alderley Edge Hotel, and it's dog friendly. So Mr. Barney Boo is in the back somewhere. We're all loaded up. We've got his bed, we've got blankets, toys, food. Oh my God, when you have to pack with a puppy, it's like, having a child having to remember everything Bre probably definitely forgotten something and then going to Tatton Park tomorrow for the dog fest which is pretty local to Alderley Edge anyway are you ready I'm ready to go just ready having this call off the bank and I need to speak to them yeah. oh. <laughs> You said it was the last time But you keep coming back to town Lee, sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me All right, boys. <laughs> We've made ourselves at home. Barney's been having a good sniff around. We've put his food in the fridge. There's your bandana from Zara. It's even got his name on it. If you stay still, Barney. Cute. So this is our room, this is called the Arley, and this is our beautiful bed for the night. I've set up Barney's little bed and water bowl here, which I think, to be honest with you, this carpet's quite comfy, he'll probably just end up sleeping wherever. And this like little travel bed that I got from Amazon is brilliant because you can just roll it up, he knows he's got a place, but like I said, he just sleeps wherever on the floor anyway. Bathroom in there that you're modelling beautifully. It's like a suite, this room. It's really nice. We've got the TV, fireplace. Uh oh, they're wrestling. They're wrestling. They're wrestling. Get in, Barney. I think it's probably easier to just take the stairs, to be honest with you. And the lift, it's not far. He's so funny when he goes downstairs. Totally forgot to vlog this, but we had spinach tortellini to start, and then we've ordered dun, 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 Tom a hawk to share. Oh, and I was going to say this one's just chilling, but he's just stood up. Down. Oh boy. Let's go. Go, guys. Thank you. 
Yeah. For you. That's me. <laughs> Ow! Plate's hot. Good morning. Good morning, puppy. With his with his barber bandana on, which is flipped round, but looks cute. And I got this um, lead and collar set actually from Pets at Home. It was super cheap, but I love the colour of it. So we've just come down for a lovely breakfast this morning. This is my favourite meal of breakfast. This is my favourite meal of the day, breakfast. However, last night's dinner, the tomahawk steak, was so good. We're nearly here. Are you ready, Barney? Where's the parking for it? <laughs> I don't know actually, I have the ticket, it doesn't say where, but I guess just follow the signs. Who remembers when this was a bit of a mess up on my birthday? Now oh, look, slow for deer, deer crossing. It is a gorgeous walk, we'll have to come back again. Because it was a tiny puppy when we came here first. Do you know what you need? Um, you need like, a nice kind of earphones on all day. Aww. <laughs> Barney's going mental already and there are so many dogs. Every single person that you can see has a dog. Oh, at least one. I'm going to say at least one. Oh my god, look at that German Shepherd. Oh, that one's already having a poop. That'll be Barney. Oh, look at all the sausages. This is a day made for dog owners, isn't it, really? What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. photo done in this tent which is completely free of charge as well we've got these free little goodie bags danger in a popular market that advantage will be taken and I think all of us need to be pretty vigilant. Ready to go home buddy? And we're off. We are home after a long busy day. I thought I'd just briefly show you what we did end up picking up from the uh, dog fest. So first things first from my friend's brand Rudy and Lou. Again I'll leave this one linked but this is the Bianca set so we've actually got colour 
in the same colour as the slip rope lead which has been amazing today absolute game changer I'm obsessed with it so I did also pick him up a harness I wanted to get him fitted for one of these Junius K9 ones and I also picked a new purchase of one of these straps I know you can get them personalized get your name on but they did them in a friendly and I thought that would be quite good these are four pounds in addition I think the actual harness was 30 was it how much was it 35 pounds and I went for it in this brown color they had black and that's what I first initially said but then the way that he's been wearing these kind of brown tones today he had his little uh barber bandana on and kind of like in the country vibes of these tones so yeah i went for the brown this is in the size one and she said it should within being 10 months already fit him into adulthood you just have to adjust the front patch and then i also got the y belt front control panel which you can attach it's an additional kind of add-on thing that allows you to have a front no pull uh, loop as well which his other harness this cheaper one that he's had just for us as, he, as he's been a puppy he has that she did say don't rely on it though don't use it too much and then I also went to Yakka's we love these cheese chews for Barney so I actually picked up two of the extra large chews and these were again discounted than the normal retailer price I think they were eight pounds each they're usually about 12.99 and then I also picked up these Yakas Crunchy Bites. So these go a lot quicker. And then en route out, we saw this uh, de-shedding tool, which I was like, see, I don't think he sheds that much. I mean, he can try it on him. And didn't it get so much hair out? So I feel like this is going to be a game changer. It's one of these tools that you, let's see here. Okay, so you do that comb first and then you flip to the fine tooth comb and that's what just gets out all the dead hairs. yeah the dead hair so they were 20 pounds i think you can get them online cheaper but you know i just thought this one i know is going to work point proven he showed me exactly how much hair it got and i was astounded okay then i also we got one of these little tote bags as you go in from bought by many and then they were also giving out free bandanas so we've got this blue one and then i also got given this bandana which is one that you just tie and who's on this oh it's my family vets this branding is they were doing free teeth oral health checks and then i also went to the antler stand antler choose are ones that he loves they do these split antlers they go through these a lot quicker but i feel like as a an extra little treat in addition to his other uh yak chew and then this is just filled with a whole load of treats that he'll love as not so much you know like a cow's ear with the fur oh God. and then this one he said if you want a really long lasting one this is buffalo hide just an all natural alternative to raw hide it said it's a very long lasting treat made from 100 percent pure beef hide so that is everything we picked up that's our little dog friendly haul I'll probably next see you guys tomorrow where i'm heading into manchester for an event where i'm going to be a bit more glam than a dog festival <laughs> so i'll see you guys then i think barney thinks he's coming with me but you're not sorry pal i'm all ready to go uber is on a route i thought i'd just kind of briefly show you my outfit so this is from zara this suit these little heels are actually zara as well just little slingbacks they're actually just quite a short heel which is nice and comfortable the matching blazer which I've actually just tried to open one of the pockets and broken, which is not ideal. And then the satin bodysuit, which is also from Zara. So I'm fully in Zara tonight. I'm also going to be taking my little Chanel uh, bag, camera, phone, purse, chewing gum. This is like a little old school throwback. What's in my bag? Carmex. And then I also have just like one of these fold up brushes, a bobble. I mean bit concealer if i need it and one of these little travel brushes from chanel so i have mentioned it previously in this video but i'm actually going to an event with a spa at king street townhouse we're doing a bit of festive wreath making and having a nice yummy dinner so it's my kind of event my bestie lydia is away so she's not going to be there to hold my hand we like to be hand in hand walking into events so i don't know who's going i have no idea just gonna go with the flow see what happens let's go Santa, I'm writing to you. I know how you're busy, but 
what else can I do? I'm not a little boy or a girl, but a father of two in this crazy old world. Angie, our youngest, she's only eight. Her mother. us to come in and sit down on her bed she took a deep breath then here's what she said so just got back from what was a lovely event did you miss me did you enjoy your yo sushi nice so um i thought i'm just gonna round off this vlog what are you watching Hi, Barney Boo. Hello, sweetheart. Um, so, yeah, thought I'd end it with showing you the couple of products that we got. This, I mean, it's all from the Christmas range, which is so exciting. This is the Winter Spice Scented Monogram. We also got one of these Tranquil Restful Pillow Mists, and they come in these little hanging decorative things. Good for stocking fillers. They are going to post as our wreaths. Tom, we made Christmas wreaths. And then this they gifted us, which is very generous of them. And we have it in here. I think it's one of their Christmas gift box rangers with full size products in. Oh, a restorative atmosphere mist. We've got the energizing one in the bedroom. You know the one that spritz. Deep puff and soothe gel, eye gel. The restorative body oil, love this stuff. The pink hair and scalp mud, which apparently is one of their best sellers and I've never tried that before. Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser. Oh, it's a gua sha. And then we've got a couple of drawers down here as well with the refining skin polish. I can't even hold this up, it's too heavy. Hydration therapy, the Optimal Skin Pro Moisturizer and a Natural Inner Beauty Calm Oil. So that's gonna round off what has been, I think quite a very dog heavy vlog. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this week and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.